Okay, y'all, today we are, uh, we've got these columns inside the building here. And there's, uh, there's three of them. And they don't look the most appealing. They're just lows. Uh, they're not lows, but they're a commercial. Uh, what's my word? I'm trying to figure out. They're a commercial uh, permanent post is what it is. And it's adjustable on the bottom. But obviously they're not appealing, but they get the job done. So what we're going to do, we're going to lay brick around these all the way up to the ceiling on all three of them. Um, we got our boys down here that are working today. We're going to get those bricks laid around it. Um, but you see they've got a string line over here. I guess you can see that. They've got a string line there. And they're not allowed to touch that string line. You touch that string line, they charge you $10. So don't hit the string line. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to run columns around it. We're going to try to mimic this up here. We're going to try to mimic this block or this brick here. So everybody in the last one said that we don't put the, ta the champers on it and all that. These don't have champers. They're smooth. They're smooth faced. They're not indented. Like across the street when we did the grocery store, you saw big mean grooves. See, this one's got more grooves than it on this side. But like right there, it's flat. It's flat. It's flat. It's flat. It's flat. It's flat. That's why the guys are doing it like that. I tell them to match what's here. And if this is flat, then I expect that to be flat. So everybody got your panties all in a wad because you didn't think they champered it good enough. Well, it's because I told them not to. I told them to match what we had on the mobile home over there. Everybody was talking about it. I didn't want it champered. It's extra work and you really, unless you're trying to match something, it don't matter. So this here, we're not gonna match it. We're just gonna go flat like that. Just like the rest of these. Every once in a while they did one. That one's not done. 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 All those up there are not done. The bricks are hanging out a little farther. Like that one. The bricks hanging out, but the, the mortar is not champered. It's flat. So we're not going to champer these. We're just going to lay them and uh, be done with it. But we'll get back to you when we get started. Going okay, y'all. They're starting to get the square and put in. That first one was the hardest one. So, we got one there. We got one there. The lighting is horrible. But y'all are just going to have to deal with it for right now. We ain't got no lighting in here. That's the third one. Okay, folks, we're working on the, the ladrillo today <laughs> we're working on the bricks today so uh the uh we got the three columns but the thing is we're going to cover them in brick just so it looks better and that we've also got brick up here on the front the whole facade is actually brick that was replaced at some point so when all this is clean and everything's how it's supposed to be, you're going to see brick under the windows and all that exposed. Uh, there's going to be plaster on the walls, but these columns, we're going to make brick too, just so it matches and so that it's not just these uh, uh, support poles. By the way, these are not these are adjustable, but they're the, the permanent ones. They're not the ones that uh, with the little pins in them that you can't use permanently. These are like permanent poles with an adjustable height, but then once you set them, they're done. So uh, we're covering them with brick, but what we're, what we're trying to do is we're setting lines so that they're all even, because we want them, when you look down the, uh, when you sight them, we want all three of the, of the columns to line up. And also we're trying to get it, these guys, they, on bricks, they like love everything to be as square as possible. So they're trying to get it where even the courses are the same so that, you know, the, the eighth course is at the same spot as the eighth course on this one and in the back. The one in the back is actually a foot taller. But. 
so uh, they're setting up some guidelines and everything so that they can get it nice and straight and try to get all the courses the same height and all that. So that's what we're working on today. We're also going to uh, try to see if we can get some more, some more of the lights up. We, now that we've got the roof dried in, by the way, that sounds like the turbo, the tornado, the tornado, it's called a tornado heater, what's that called? Torpedo heater. Torpedo heater. Uh, but uh, we're going to, we've got to do some electrical in the ceiling for the lights and then we can start putting the tent up and stuff. This one's been hanging here by one nail for over a year now. We're just doing it kind of as an experiment to see if it falls on anybody's head. So far it hasn't. But uh, we're to the point now where everything's going to start looking nicer and nicer and nicer. <laughs> like so far it's been looking worse and worse and worse. But it's about to start looking nicer and nicer and nicer. The trick to fixing these things is you got to be able to see the nice at the end of the line. Because right now, a lot of people wouldn't be able to see much value in this building. But it's got a nice solid concrete floor now. It's got a nice level roof. It's got a, a nice uh, uh, tin roof on it, or aluminum, uh, no, tin. Nice tin roof on it now with flashing. It's pouring down the rain outside right now. There's no water in here. We come a long way, baby. We're getting there. Nice and level and square. Got the lines going. All the way to the back. Jaime's back here twice as tall. Hopefully the bottom will dry before we get too high so it doesn't all come crashing down on us. But uh, not much to it. They, the, the four bricks fit together in a pattern, you know. Just making the about the tightest square you can out of them. And so one... Uh, layer goes like that and the next layer goes the other way and on and on it goes so while that's going on me and Donnie are trying to get more light up in here usually we have the front door open the back door open but it's pouring down the rain so and it's cold whoo it's cold we're in the Carolinas we don't like the cold about one foot square is that what it is about a foot square oh you just tested it about a foot square about as small as you can make it. We could have just left the exposed pole, but we're trying to make it a little high end. And those poles don't really look like 1920 at all. This thing was built in 1926. So we're trying to make it at least have some of that kind of look to it. Um, but we probably won't paint the bricks. We'll probably just uh, leave them exposed, which we always like that look anyway. So. We'll see how it comes out. But so far, so far so good. Mud going in thick. And it's, uh, the brick is the same brick we used in the other building. I guess they never saw any of that. The underpinning of the trailer. Oh, yeah, the underpinning of the trailer is the same type, too. The, uh, um, we buy this stuff local, of course. <laughs> I guess everywhere you build, you get local brick. But uh, this is made by the company that was making it. A hundred years ago, so it very well might be the same company here locally that they got the uh, the brick to build this building from. So it's a small area, and in the county, there's only one brick company, and uh, they were here 130 years ago, something like that. So very well could be that the bricks that the building are made out of came from this same company all that time ago. So maybe we're matching it up pretty good. Donnie, what do you think? Donnie cares a lot about that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, he just has to make sure that everything matches up like that. Yep. Means a lot to him. Yep, everything. <laughs> all right, so we'll keep working with it. Okay, y'all, we're going up with the column some more. We're up about uh, five foot now. Had to put scaffolding up to get the guys up high enough to get to it. Got him hauling trash out of here. Trying to clean it up a little bit. This one back here is up about 
seven foot, seven and a half foot man. That's probably blinding you. What's up, Donnie? What's going on, buddy? Good, good, man. Say hey to all the YouTubers. Put all three that all three of my guys can do concrete work. I'm pretty good at it. Get on this side. Really kind of on. Oh, yeah. 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 Another baby trash going up. We'll get it shortly. It's a lot worse. It's, it looks a lot worse than what it actually is. It's not that bad. But we did take down the hanger. The one that was hanging so bad. They didn't want to hit the head on it. There's stuff like this is where my guys are really going to shine. Like holes in that wall there. They've got little marks on this board. Where they want their bricks to be in. They move it here, and then he moves it all the way down there, and then they know what they're doing. Mason seem to live and die with that string line, so they ain't got a string line, and they don't want to. Uh, they don't want to. Live. Which, you know, rightfully so. It's like a mechanic, if he don't have the right tool, he don't want to. Work, so. Anyway. They love the string lines. You've got to have extra string lines. You've got to have string lines and you've got to have new pencils over there. We're using paint buckets. Y'all didn't see that video yet of them paint buckets. Never mind. The window in the back there that was over the door was covered up by uh, by uh, paneling, but we're gonna clean that up and save it. And uh, I'm gonna put a little. I think I might put a little arc on that window. Hell yeah, put one something on the front one too, man. <laughs> I'm gonna put. I might put something just like a a logo because there's a wall behind the window. I might put a logo that says Town of Jefferson or something like that on it because this was the old town hall. So just a little hint of the past. But. uh we're about ready to start on some tin ceiling. Tin ceiling's starting to look pretty rough, Donnie. Tranquilo, tranquilo. <laughs> I think you third in uh, uh, Hispanic. <laughs> that means take it easy. Hold <laughs> a minute. <laughs> he said tranquilo, Julio. He said tranquilo, relax, relax. <laughs> relax, relax. <laughs> take it easy. Wiggy, Wiggy, ain't nothing but a thing. Boy, we're getting there. They're going up, 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 up. They look very strong. <laughs> we're going to run them up under the beam, so... I mean, nothing, the, the columns are a lot stronger than the beam, but we're going to run them up under the beam, and then we're going to run around the beam so that they're kind of encased in the uh, brick. Uh, like they're the walls run around them in the front and the back so looking pretty good and then we're gonna wrap them in tin and the uh, the roof is gonna of course we got to fix the holes and stuff but it's gonna run over and there'll be tin wrapped around the beam make it look a little more like it may have been something original but uh, they're getting there and Jaime's in the back Let's check on him. I think he's higher up in the air. Uh-huh. This is higher. You're higher, Jaime. You're like you're like too higher. Yeah. You're you're fast. <laughs> it's bueno. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, it's nice. Very straight. 
and they uh, they uh, made them all perfectly in line with each other too. So when you look down on them, there's a nice sight line. So. Is that plum? It's plum. <laughs> and uh, what's the other one? Plano. Plum and plano. <laughs> Level all around. Yeah. Looks good. I wish the rest of the back room was. Look at the freaking room. Look at the contrast between that nice new pillar and the walls. I mean, the walls are very strong, but I mean, the, the plaster falling off the walls and everything. So we'll have to see what we're going to do about that. We haven't completely decided yet. Okay, so we're building up right around the beam. It looks good, Julio. Yeah. Right around the beam on both sides so that it looks like it's holding it. Like on that side. Of course, none of this is structural because the post is the structural part, but uh, it, uh, it'll just look better like that. If you leave it, you could just go flat up to it or do like a little stair step or something, but if you did, it would look like that beam was kind of top, you know, balancing up there. If you do it like this, it looks like it's holding it. It'll just look better. What do you think, Donnie? Things gonna look good. It's gonna look excellent. Excellent. Ready, ready. All right. And I got it pieced around it. He's very proud of it. He's going to the back to tell his brother that his looks better. <laughs> what do you think, Lewis? Yes. You like? Yes. You like it? Good. It's good. Yeah. I like it. I think it looks nice and strong. The reason that it's everything's a little off center is because this beam isn't completely centered because the building is all nothing square in this building. But it looks very good. We'll do the other one and then we're gonna run the tin right up to it and put some trim around it. It'll look really nice. So, it's cool seeing this because we how, how long ago did we get this building, man? It's been a while. It's been a couple years that we've had this, and uh, this has been a huge problem ever since they built the building in 1926, we think it was. So uh, we're finally getting it where uh, the stuff is uh, nice and supported, and you don't have to worry about the ceiling sagging or collapsing or anything like that, and the roof above it. I don't think we're on yet. Okay, y'all. Here we go. We got our columns in. We got them up. We made them huge up there at the top, I guess you could call that, to go around that beam to hold it all nice and snug and tight so it don't mess with that. What's it called around? Feng Shui. That. Don't want to mess up the Feng Shui. Don't want to mess that up. He's all worried about it, so I got to kind of cater to him. I don't believe in that shit, but whatever. So, We've got. Wait, right how here. come the how come the mortar is different colors on the bottom half and the top half? This is last week and this is this week. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. That's when it dries, it it'll be all right. Okay. But anyway, we got it up there. We got it tight. We got it wrapped. We got it stuck up there to make everybody feel better about themselves. Uh huh. Now doesn't it look much much stronger? Don't it look like it's holding that damn beam up? Now, it looks like it's being held up now. Well, yo, I'm just gonna give you a little secret. That pipe on the inside holding it. <laughs> and that three foot of concrete underneath it. I'm gonna show them the trick with the line. Okay, show them the trick. Here we go. Line. All right, so see the one in the back back there? The very back one? Yeah, that one. See the line of the actual brick? And then see this one here is the second line. And then this one's the third line, right? So you can do like this. So the last one is it gone yet? disappears. <laughs> and then this one. Look, they're perfectly lined up. We can see your, we can see your, uh, your um, dicky do. <laughs> do y'all know what a dicky a dicky do is? She can we tell them that, Donnie? Your gut sticks out farther than you. <coughs> <Dude>. Okay. <coughs> so yeah, see how they line up. Just how we wanted it, and then on this side. can barely tell. 
nice and nice and plum. So uh, that's one, that's two, and then the back one is a foot taller because the floor is a foot lower. Very nice. Now, Donnie, didn't you pour that mortar down here? The like the concrete? Yeah. Remember, we, we busted it all up because we thought it wouldn't be strong enough to hold the post. Yeah, and it ended up being like 13, 14 inches. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that's Donnie's pour there under it. And then we put the post in, got everything level up uh, on the ceiling to where the middle was no longer collapsing, put the beam up. Got the, the brick all the way around it. Good to go. I like it. What do you think, Donnie? I like it. Think they did a good job? I think they did an excellent job. Oh, we, we did that too today. Uh-huh. We got to show them the, the, uh, the window that's holding everything up. Oh, the window. I think I've showed them this 10 times already. We'll show them again. Window. So the beam is held up by a piece of glass. Listen. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. So show them why it's not the glass, Donnie. Should we tell them or should we just say that it's the glass? Well, see, it's this big steel case. See, the glass is actually like over the door frame here. And that big steel door frame there was the jail door. And then above the jail door is a brick wall. So that's what's actually holding it up. See that one hinges on the jail door? I think we were welded solid. Mm-hmm. Yep, they had it all welded up. Somebody started painting it silver. They wanted to show off. Now we're gonna paint it. A, I don't, we might just paint it black or something so it looks like uh, iron or whatever. Rod iron. We might put a, like a, you know, when you walk through, they can do a motion sensor and it makes a noise. Uh -huh. We might have it go shrink like the jail door slamming whenever you walk through it. Boy, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, Donnie, tell me what you think about this. That window up there, once we frame it all out and get it looking good and paint it, I'll put a, I'm going to have a sticker printed out, like kind of like in script that yeah. says, Town of Jefferson. And then you I put it across you the thing. Put, you're in the jailhouse now. I might. I don't know. In the Maybe. jailhouse now. See, when you walk in, you're actually in the jail. Yeah, but and this was the, the town hall for Jefferson. Yeah, so if you put Town of Jefferson and then somebody opens a business in here, it's in the town of Jefferson. Hmm. So, that, you know. Yeah, that might work. So I'm thinking about it. We'll see. They keep wanting me to get rid of that window. I think it looks cool, man. I ain't getting rid of that window. That's old school. That's probably part of whatever the original building was. The, uh, everybody's already covered that window up for 50 years. Mm-hmm. With its family. Yeah. I'm going to show the shit off. Exactly. I'm going to let it be what it wants to be. Yeah. <laughs> show it off. So, uh. All right, so that's that, Donnie. We got our columns done. We got our columns done. All right, what do you want to tell them? I want to tell them, hey, y'all, subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. Give us a big thumbs up for filming it. The, write the comments down below. Hey, do the thing like the gnome stutter does the down on the bottom. Stutter. He goes, put your comment down below. Put your comment <laughs> below. Put down on the bottom. Up, thumbs up down on the bottom. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next one. All right, bye, hey. folks.